Hi lads and lasses, Modest Pelican here with Cyberpunk 2077. If you enjoy this video, please paint the words Modest Pelican Gaming on a rock and throw it into your neighbor's window, as this really helps spread the good word of my channel. I can't tell you how happy I am to finally be making content on this incredibly hyped game. My expectations are so high that if it doesn't offer the best authentic RPG experience ever, cure world hunger and get me laid, I'm going to be pretty disappointed. Alright, first I've got to design my character, and as the randomization option is the stuff of nightmares, I do the only logical thing. I try and make my character look like Agent 47. I do an amazing job and you can barely tell which one's which. We spawn in an office building bathroom as I throw up into a sink. Wow, this is a shared space big dog and there's nothing cooler than respecting company property so keep it together. I'm a high flying corporate named V and I've got a meeting with the boss upstairs. I had three different backstories I could have chosen and I landed on office worker. Super questionable decision but at least my parents can finally be proud of me. I meet my boss and I immediately jump onto his coffee table to assert dominance. I even do a little tap dance to show him that I have both a slightly above average sized peenie and immaculate active listening skills. He tells me that I've got to eliminate someone within the company, which seems sketchy, but I do love unnecessary violence, so I'm in. I hop into this fancy flying taxi and get my first look at the awe-inspiring Night City. It's amazing that this is how the world would look if everyone just stayed sufficiently hydrated at all times. I'm looking at you, Africa. Anyway, we're heading to a gentleman's club so I can meet my boy Jackie and ask him to back me up on this mission. You might be wondering how I plan on keeping this channel pure in the eyes of God with lewd content absolutely everywhere. Well, I turned on the family-friendly setting. So for example, this woman is wearing conservative elbow pads. We now won't be tempted by the supple joint between her fore and upper arm. At least this lass gets it, as she stands like a cross perfectly still. She might not be making any friends, but she'll be making her way straight to heaven's gates. I go and meet Jackie boy, and he's a good lad, it's great to see him. We drink together, and while asking him if he wants to do this job with me, upper management shows up. They proceed to fire me for conspiring to kill another employee. Wow, I guess in the year 2077, political correctness has gone so far, you can't even offer co-worker anymore. I head back to my apartment, and at least I have a great place to call home. I jump in the shower and do that dramatically depressing thing where you plant your hands against the wall. I also just took a shower fully clothed, and I think we can all agree that V needs to get his head in the game. Like when I sleep, I don't even use the pillows. Do you hate yourself, V? Or do you hate adequate neck support? Alright, new morning, new me, let's seize the day. I head over to my wardrobe and put on some fresh clothes. I'll admit my outfit doesn't really scream cyberpunk, but breathable shorts are heavily underrated. Also, I like how my shirt says, like the video and subscribe or Stealtho Simo will teabag your father while he naps. Believe it or not, that's not edited. Jackie boy wants to meet so that we can start hustling. The big boy is munching down on some noodles and as excited as I am to hook into the story, I want to explore the city a little bit first. It seems really cool, but I feel as if V doesn't really know what to do with his hands. I need a vehicle for proper exploration, so it's time to commit my first crime. I attempt to steal some sort of futuristic Mini Cooper and it runs me over. All the vehicle safety features the year 2077 has to offer and women are still running over pedestrians. After multiple roadside injuries, I manage to jack a minivan and start exploring the map. You see, there's lots of reviews about this game being released at the moment, but there's one surefire way of judging if a game deserves a solid 10 out of 10 perfect score. I pull into an apartment complex and locate some of Night City's youth playing with toys in the car park. This kid's actually got a handgun, which kind of seems like lazy parenting, but anyway, I pull out my gun and attempt to fire. I can confirm that Cyberpunk 2077 does not let you eliminate children. My immersion is absolutely shattered. I enjoy an afternoon of stealing expensive cars and double checking that the family friendly setting is actually working, which seems like a grey area. I was more hoping that all the men would be forced to wear long cassock Roman garments and the women's strict nun attire, but I guess we'll have to settle for booty shorts. I've had my fun and it's now time to rendezvous with Jackie and start making some cash. He's planned out today's activities for us, which is pretty cute. First, we're heading to a Ripper Doc who can replace our incel human body parts with cool robot ones. On the walk, I notice a man perving on a dancer, so I jab him in the head. He honestly takes the punch like a champ as everyone else flees the area in fear. 
The doc hooks me up with a hand scanner, which seems cool, and jokes aside, it's truly beautiful how they've gone about censoring the nudity when this setting is on. They just give the exotic dancers tracksuit pants and sweaters, it's inspiring. Jackie's lined up a meeting with a crime lord known as Dex as he has a lucrative job opportunity for us. He wants us to steal a spider bot from a gang of psychopaths and then use the bot to break into one of the most secure hotels in Night City. To steal a prototype biochip from a literal prince posing as an arms dealer. Sounds super simple, what could go wrong? I drive over to Jackie and first we'll steal this spider bot off the gang. For real, I think V needs a fidget spinner or something, as it's simply not socially acceptable to awkwardly hold your hands in the air like this. I politely ask the guard to let us in, and we make our way to the meeting. The good news is, these gentlemen we're doing business with seem emotionally and mentally stable. I don't at all feel as if I'm about to be cut up into tiny pieces and then marinated in my own fluids right before Splinter Cell's demonic alter ego enjoys me as a charred grilled V kebab. He offers me a hit of something mysterious, and obviously I don't want to disregard his hospitality, so of course I indulge. Jackie Boy says no. I swear you can't take this lad anywhere, he's so embarrassing. They do at least have the spider bot, and maybe they'll keep their word. Just kidding, Big Sexy comes in, and I would describe his general persona as aggressive and hostile. It looks like violence is the only way out of this situation, and I proceed to do what I have to do. I also wasn't exactly sure when to say this, but thank you all so much for a million subscribers. I'll do a proper video about it soon, but I really am just some dodgy malacca having fun, and the fact that we got here really blows my mind. Thank you, I really mean it. Enough cringe emotion for now, because alpha gamers don't simp for anyone, even for their loyal supporters who got them where they are today. With the spider bot now in our possession, we can commence phase two of the plan. Visiting the gentlemen's club again. I'll be honest with you, I did try and change the settings so that I could have a quick peek at what the uncensored gameplay would look like for educational purposes. Unfortunately, for my tempted Christian eyes, you have to start a new game for that so we stay pure. I end up in this booth having a meeting with Evelyn so she can give us the information she has on the hotel. I don't ever want to tell someone how to do their job, but maybe next time pick a meeting spot where there isn't a Randy hologram seductively dancing around Evelyn. It makes it hard to follow the plotline. That being said, I did rock up to this meeting looking like a Saints Row 2 supporting character, so glass houses. She plugs me into this machine where I can see her memories. Using powerful thermal tech, I find the location of the safe where the biochip is being kept. Perfect. As I pull away from the club, I accidentally run over about four people and it got me thinking. Could you run over kids to kill them? I might have to do some myth busting another time. You never want to heist on an empty stomach, so I pull over and buy myself 12 extra extra large Turquiza burritos. I really wonder why I'm including this. Anyway, we organise to meet at a bar for the mission briefing and this venue is wild. They have women dancing in water tanks, which I imagine is incredibly fatiguing. I guess if you were into fitness, it'd be a sensational core workout and you could easily stay hydrated. So maybe it's not the worst job ever. Dex has a private booth and we go over the plan. Basically, Jackie and I will infiltrate the hotel while these guys stay in a safe location. I feel as if we definitely drew the short straw there, but if we can get the biochip, we can sell it and be filthy rich. At least Dex shouted us Uber Plus. We've even got Slender Man telling us about local traffic conditions and weather. It's truly a pleasant commute and I give Slender Man 3.5 stars. I don't give 5 because he haunted me for years. The hotel itself is also quite impressive and a welcome change from the crack den I call home. Jackie and I make our way inside with the spider bot. We have a reservation as the prince is expecting us. He thinks he's buying the spider bot at a meeting with us later today. It's the perfect plan. I had this really kind English teacher back in high school. He used to really bond with us and we considered him more of a friend than a teacher. One day he told me that money doesn't buy happiness and I just remember thinking that he must be the dumbest human being in the world. Like take for example this luxury hotel room, it's absolutely insane. We've got a little zen garden and water commercials playing on the TV. We've got a little bathtub. It's small, and I'll admit that it will be hard for Jackie and I to wash each other in here later, I mean just wash ourselves like normal people. It's time to initiate the operation. We send the spider bot into the vents, and this thing is a little unit. It's got cloaking abilities and everything. I can see why Dex wanted us to murder so many people to get it. 
It takes down all of the security systems, meaning Jackie and I can get into the prince's apartment and steal the biochip. We've got to move fast because it's unclear when he'll return. Now things are about to get absolutely insane. Like Keanu Reeves levels of insane. Obviously I'm playing through the game, but if you want to avoid spoilers, this is your warning. So as we're stealing the biochip from the safe, heaps of aircraft land on the helipad one floor above the apartment. And Jackie and I panic and have to hide. Fortunately, there's a pillar in the middle of the room that has a one-way mirror type wall, so we can see everything but be safely hidden. Implausible, but perfect for the storyline. The prince and his dad the emperor have a meeting. The atmosphere is quite tense, but hey, every father and son relationship has its moments. The prince then proceeds to straight up choke his father to death, which is just wow, kinda hot. We're about to be blamed for the murder, so we try to escape on a thin, narrow ledge in wet weather. Which makes me think we should sit down and talk about our decision-making process if we get out of this alive. An angry pilot then rains bullets on us and we slip down the building and fall. Jackie has to put the biochip into his head because it's unstable while the hotel gets swept by heavily armoured guards. It's safe to say the situation has escalated. While sneaking out, I break some dude's neck and put on his suit, as quite frankly I'm getting self-conscious that people think I'm underdressed. We end up in the most intense shootout yet, as every floor of the hotel brings with it another gaggle of enemies. They've even brought a damn mech warrior, which honestly seems cheap. Like I know they think we killed the emperor, but a mech? Show some class, dude. The slender man comes in clutch with the escape, saving our lives. I get tempted to raise my driver rating to a 4 star, but then think better of it. The trick is to make them really want to please you. Unfortunately, my homie Jackie boy took one too many bullets and straight up dies. This is quite a sad moment, as he was there for me when I lost my job. On the other hand, he didn't take a hit of that gangster's kush all the way back when we stole the spider bot, which was quite socially humiliating for me. Maybe this is karma. He gives me the biochip and I put it straight into my brain, which seems safe and fun. I then report to Dex, who's sketching out about how the entire operation went to hell. I lie to him and say that I couldn't even steal the chip as things got too heated. Get finessed, Dex. I then punch a mirror, which is not a healthy way to handle emotion, but understandable considering I never got to have that bath with Jackie. Ah uh, well, there's nothing left to do but try and rebuild our life. Just kidding, Dex straight up pulls out a handgun and kills me. Wow, quite brutal, but I'm not actually dead. I somehow cling on to life because that would be quite confrontational if the main character just straight up died. Dex dies though, and I make friends with the Emperor's security guard because he's been stitched up too, and yeah. That chip I put into my head was basically the soul of Keanu Reeves who now lives inside my head rent free. He is currently doing everything he can to take over my body so that my soul eventually disintegrates away into nothing. I feel like I need to drink some water, this game is insane and this is where we're at. Trying to live life knowing that Keanu is right here with us. This game is so unique and really cool, I'm enjoying it a lot. That's the whole of Act 1, let me know if you want to see a part 2. I hope you legends are doing well, until next time and as always, stay classy.